Hey besties, thanks so much for tuning in. So for today's video, I'm gonna show you some crafts that I've made using Dollar Tree craft sticks, which I love and I think you're gonna love as well. If this is the first time that you are seeing my face, I really hope that you enjoy this video and you stick around by subscribing to this channel because once you hit subscribe, we instantly become best friends. Did we just become best friends? Yep. Please hit that notification bell. YouTube may or may not let you know when I post a video, but just in case they don't, follow me on Instagram and all my other socials, and let's go ahead and get started. For this craft, you're gonna need some stretch canvases from Dollar Tree. I use six by eight, and I'm using my upholstery staple remover to remove these, but you do not have to do this. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you sand this down because these are not perfect. So you want them to look as nice as possible in case you wanna stain them, or just so no one gets hurt. Now I arranged these into rows. I did odd numbers. This is gonna be a seating chart. So I used some wood glue to put this together. You can use hot glue. I like using wood glue because I feel like it doesn't add as much bulk and I'm able to move it around. I'm clamping them in place using Dollar Tree binder clips. They also sell other clips as well, but I really like these because they are nice and strong. And I'm gonna let this dry really, really well, making sure that every piece of this is stuck. So you're gonna shake this around when you take all of your clips off. I let this dry overnight, by the way. Now here's where the star of the show comes in, the Dollar Tree popsicle sticks. I'm using the larger size and the bigger frames you use, the larger popsicles you're going to need. So these are the largest ones that Dollar Tree had at the moment. They have a larger size now, but if you don't have popsicle sticks that are big enough, you can always get 98 set ones from Lowe's, stir sticks, shims, whatever you want. Now I covered this up spacing them evenly. And now when I flip this over, I'm gonna add some Dollar Tree clothes pins. Now for this, I don't mind attaching using hot glue because if I do want to remove this, it'll be one clean break off. I also used some wood cutouts from Dollar Tree because this was a nautical theme, but you can skip this part. I added this with hot glue as well so that when I choose to remove it, I just take that off with no issue. In the original video, which I will link below, I show you how I made this. I made this basically like a photo and had it printed and boom. Going back to the Dollar Tree canvases, we are going to use two 8x10s for this next craft. Now remember, the bigger the canvas, the larger the sticks that you're going to need. I'm removing the staples and the actual canvas using my upholstery staple remover, but you can just literally rip this off. Now, you can use stir sticks for free. They give this to you for free at your hardware store. If you want more, they sell them for 98 cents. They have a pack of 20, which is bigger popsicle sticks. I think the price went up slightly, maybe a dollar 20, a dollar 19, but still a really good deal. So I just cut down the edges, cut it down to size using regular scissors. And now I'm gonna put this into place. Make sure that you measure this before you put this down because you may want to space these out a little differently. I am using just regular popsicle sticks that I got at Walmart. These aren't the paint sticks. The paint sticks do require that you cut them down either with a handsaw or like a mini saw, whatever you have. I added way too much glue, so I make sure that I'm cleaning that off because it's hard to sand corners when it's tucked in that way. And I'm letting it dry really, really well with weight on top. Now, for this next step, if your Dollar Tree carries these, then you can use these. Mine never has the plain, unfinished beads, but these are really nice. You can also get these in the Crafter Square section and just paint them. I like to put the beads on skewers to make it easier, let them dry, do your thing or these which they also have in the hair section although i don't think it's worth it because it only brings 20 so i do have these from michael's but amazon has a ton of super cheap ones i'm going to put these on skewers but i'm not doing this to help me paint i'm doing this so that they're perfectly straight when i add them to the canvas if you freehand, you're risking your beads being all over the place and kind of wonky so to avoid having glue all over the place this is what i do 
I grab my skewer, I remove one of the beads, and then I cut it down slightly so that I can still wedge the other bead on there. Add glue to that little skewer and then add another bead up top. That way you can't see the glue at all and your beads are not moving around. So it's easier to add, it's nice and straight, and this actually looks professional. So the original video was posted in 2020. I will leave that below because it does have a bunch of other awesome crafts. I'm gonna attach this using hot glue just because I want it to stay in place. You can do wood glue, whatever you want. This is still gonna be able to twirl the beads itself. So yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna add my other canvas on top. This is supposed to be a dupe for a tray that Michaels had at the time, which I'm pretty sure they still sell in stores now. The original Michaels tray back from 2020 was very dark and had a whitewash on top. Now I didn't wanna stain it, but if you are gonna stain it, consider staining before assembling the entire thing. I'm just giving it a nice little like dry brush whitewash type thing. Now this is what the Michaels one looked like at the time, and here's mine. This craft is probably one of my favorite crafts on my channel. You are going to get a pan or pot of water and make sure you don't fill it all the way to the top. It's, you want it to be pretty shallow and add your popsicle sticks before the water starts to boil. Now you don't want the heat to be super high. You want this to be a very soft boil, but you are gonna boil this for a pretty long time. You wanna make sure that these popsicles can bend. So if you need eight popsicle sticks, boil like 40 because they are gonna crack. Now get yourself a vase or anything that you feel comfortable putting these in. You're gonna bend carefully. Take your time with this, show it some love, some TLC, and you are going to put it into your vase. Try and get it as straight as possible. The straighter that you get it, the better the result is. The trick here is patience. So once you have it in there, you're gonna wanna let it dry. I would say 24 hours, but realistically, you want a good two, three days of dry time. Again, make sure that you're letting this dry really well. Kind of forget about this craft because sometimes this looks dry and it isn't and it will revert back to not the size or the shape that you want. This is what it looks like and I use these little thingies from Dollar Tree. I'm not gonna use the bottom, I'm just gonna use the top. I'm removing that. Make sure that you are kind of neat. You're not gonna see the parts that are a little messed up, but you do want it to look nice. So remove those little prongs and now I am going to start to shape this like a lantern. So you can see here why I didn't use wood glue. I wanted an instant hold, but I also wanted to be able to cleanly remove it in case it's not in the position where I want it to be. This does take a lot of repositioning, especially since not every popsicle ended up in a perfect curve. So I didn't have enough, so there is a tiny little gap, which is why I said if you need eight, make sure that you are bending 40 because you just never know. So I'm gonna go and try and cover this up as much as possible and try and align it with the top. It's a little difficult, but once you're done, this looks so good, I promise you. Just wait until we add the details. Here's me showing you where I could have used another one of the popsicles, but I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on top. We live, we learn, and I will probably make a ton of these. I really am due 
for another one. So I'm placing this on top. But for the handle, you can do whatever you want. I'm taking some nutmeg brown and I am staining these beaded handles that I made for another craft. I'll link everything below, but this is also just using floral wire from Dar Dollar Tree and beads. Um, you can use regular stain, but for this, it was just so much easier to use the paint. You are able to bend this in whatever shape you want. So this is why I use the Dollar Tree Floral Wire. I didn't want anything super flimsy or super duper strong. Once the stain is in place, you can hot glue this and it will not budge. So I bent it and added my hot glue. And again, if you want to see the original crafts with everything else that I made, I'll link it below. There's a ton of good ones in that as well. Put this on top, add a little Dollar Tree candle, and boom! So that is it for me. I really, really hope that you enjoyed these craft stick hacks. If you want to see a part two, let me know. Or if you want to see hacks using other Dollar Tree materials, let me know. And as usual, thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. And I'll see you on the next one.